Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just got off of a 13 hour flight and I am oh so happy to be home. So today we're going to be talking about a command that we use all the time, the layer command. In fact, the layer command happens to be the third most frequently used command in AutoCAD, if you can believe that. So we're going to be talking about layer properties per viewport. And this is something that was added in a few releases ago. So if you've ever had an object that you wanted to have one color in one viewport and have it be a different color in another viewport. You know, that has not been so easy to do in the past, right? You probably needed to make a copy of the object, put it on a different layer, control the layer visibility for each of the viewports. It, it was kind of a big process for a very simple thing. So when AutoCAD 2008 came out, thankfully, the ability to actually assign colors for layers per viewport, so not just colors, but also line types and line weights came into the, into the program. That was a huge time saver. So let's take a look. So here I have four different viewports, and basically they, you know, they have the same things in the viewports. Here I have a few extra layers turned off, and I'm going to go into the layer manager, and we're going to be working with this column right here, the VP color column, but you'll see that there's also VP, VP line type and VP line weight. So you could also be assigning, like I said, line weights and um, line types. But we're going to be working with colors. So I'm going to use my filters. I hope you use your filters. I find them making, if you have a lot of layers in your drawing, they certainly make your, your uh, life inside the layer dialog box much easier. And these are just my architectural layers. You'll see that I have 23 layers out of 102 that are showing. I'm going to do a right click and select just my architectural layers. And then I'm going to go over here to VP color and I'm going to assign a color. How about a color of, how about magenta? And you will see that that only affected the current viewport. Let's try that again. Let's go into this viewport over here. Let's go back into the layer dialog box. Let's go over to mechanical. That's my HVAC viewport. And once again, right click, select all. Let's go over to VP color. And let's say we would like all of those to be cyan, a color which I jokingly say, none of us would really know were it not for AutoCAD, right? <laughs> so you can see this, these objects are only cyan in this particular viewport. That's huge. In the past, like I said, that would have taken us a lot of time to deal with. Now you can also do this with layer states. You can also apply the properties that are saved in a layer state to just a viewport. Let's try that. So here I'm in the furniture plan viewport. I'm going to go up here. Let's just go right into the Layer States Manager. Here's my furniture plan. And here's an option right here, Apply Properties as Viewport Overrides. Hmm. So that means it's only going to affect the viewport. So I'm going to say Restore. And sure enough, it only affected this particular viewport. Let's do it one more time, one last time. Let's pan this up a little bit. You can see that that happens to be my lighting plan. I'm going to go right back into here and let's go over to the lighting plan and do one more restore. So the point, once again, only those, those objects in this particular viewport were changed the color. That's huge. I should save you a lot of time. So I want to thank you for joining me and I hope that uh, you have a great rest of the week and I will see you in two more weeks.